Hey, it's your girl B Thirsty Pretzel, and welcome to my dream life. <laughs> Actually, this is Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, and if you don't know, I am a huge Dis nerd. I'm a huge adult Disney fan. My weekend is booked. I love Disney. All things Disney. <laughs> I actually was thinking about wearing my Disney mouse ears for this video, but headphones, you know. Um, so yeah, we're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. I don't know if this is going to be like a weekly thing or if I'm just going to update you, but I've been playing this since day it came out. And recently there was an update that I guess they added for Halloween, <laughs> but it's Scar from Lion King. Um, and as you can see, this is my Disney Dreamlight self i almost said sim self because you know sims on the brain uh this is my little yellow house that i love very much actually the house is kind of like mary poppins bag um where it's much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside <laughs> but yeah we've i've been playing this like i said for a while now i just kind of wanted to share the update the scar update i haven't even seen it yet uh it's actually supposed to be over there where the rocks are um but I haven't been in there yet. So I figured since I'm about to open it, why not share it with you? I don't know if there's anyone who hasn't gotten this or who wants to maybe get it, but wants to see how the gameplay is first. So I figured that's why I'd make this video. Um, I didn't say the things I normally say in the beginning. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because I appreciate it and I appreciate you for being here and go follow me over on Twitch because I stream three times a week. We have a good time over there with the pretzel gang. We'd love to have you come hang out. And actually I have played Disney Dreamlight on my Twitch channel so if I don't continue this as like a weekly video you could come hang out over there and sometimes I will be playing it so you'll be caught up but long introduction short this is my Disney Dreamlight self as I said where's my little partner I have a companion I don't know where they are right now but I do have one. Oh, there you are. I got a little... So this is the companion I got. Uh, her name is Sprinkles. I also got a sea turtle that I made friends with. Of course, it's purple. I got a regal fox with a crown on, who is really my companion where I have on my ball gown moments. I have the incredible squirrel, which I do plan to actually have as my companion for Halloween because I have a Mrs. Incredible outfit. Um, but right now, because I love purple and my outfit's purple, we have our wind-up raccoon, which is the companion that I got for the current um event that's happening which is the villains event villain star path so you get this raccoon these are the daily tasks that i have to do remove night thorns i'll show you how to do that we cook some stuff i've already cooked 13 out of 20 things and basically you have to do all these things i need to talk to merlin you have to do all of these things to collect pumpkins and then you get rewards so i got the raccoon i got this i got the mirror um, and I need to get these things. I really want these ears. And then there's page two. You get Hades, a Cheshire cat, whatever this is, trick or treat bucket. So we need to do all these things. Not with you today, but we're going to do some of them. But first priority is to get Scar. So actually first priority is to go find Merlin, which we need to do. So I'm going to hit the map. Best thing about this game, well, not best thing, but one of the best things about this game is that when you hit the map, it tells you where every character is. So in my game so far, I have Moana, I have Kristoff, I have Remy, I have Goofy, I have Scrooge McDuck, I got Wally. There's three people here. Oh, Mickey's in there. And these are the places I've opened so far. I have Ursula, the queen herself. I have uh, Maui, I have Ariel. I have Donald. I don't have Minnie. She's a hologram. You'll probably see her at some point. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but we need Merlin. So I'm going to fast travel to go see Merlin at his house. Ooh, Wally actually recently just opened up his garden. Oh, there's Minnie. Speaking of the hologram herself. She was just there. Did you see her? But yeah, Wally opened up a garden and I get to take stuff from it because I helped him. But yeah, let's go see Merlin so we can tick that off our list. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Remember that the well is a source of great power. Use the magic it bestows upon you wisely. Um, I don't have, do I have something to give him? I mean, I can I give him, I don't have anything to give him. You want this dream shark? 
Oh, yeah. But that's not the daily conversation I think I need to have with him. Is it? Oh, it is. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna hit you. This gives me the uh, dreamlike task that I need to be doing. Well, let's go back to the event. Start daily discussion with him. Okay, no, that didn't count. So I gotta have a regular conversation with him. But for right now, instead of doing that, we're gonna go see. Oh, see, I have the up balloon outside my house because I love it. Ooh, what's that? Oh, see, I get a shard. I give a shard, I get a shard. But yeah, I have the up. And this is actually called the Sunlight Plateau, which is where I believe Scar is. It's the only place I haven't opened yet. Now I know you haven't been to the Sunlight Plateau yet, but take it from me, it's not to be missed. Of course you'll have to remove these night thorns. So I have enough, I have 12,000 uh, dream lights. And you only need 7,000. So I literally got as many as I could and waited so that I could film this video. Good show, Bree. You've cleared the way to the Sunlight Plateau. So let's go see Scar. Ooh. Ooh, it's dark here. Ooh, another goofy stall. Okay. Oh. Wow. Scar in there? Nature and nurture. Quest started. Okay, let's track the quest. Yes. Investigate the giant skull in the elephant graveyard of the Sunlight Plateau. First, we're going to pick this up and I'm going to show you how. No, I don't want to pet you, raccoon. I want to clear this. You just hit. Oh, no. You just hit E. No. E to remove those things, which is good. We're going to harvest cocoa beans. So we always want to remove these which also helps with the quest we're trying to do today. So we're gonna remove, ooh. Gotta do this. I'm missing one, I'm missing one, I'm missing one. Gimme it, gimme it, gimme it. Gimme it, I got stuck, I got stuck. Gimme, gimme. Yes! So if you get all of those, if anything pops out and you get all of them, then they give you a chest that gives you more money, which is good. But sometimes I get stuck, which sucks, okay. Yes, give me more monies. It doesn't always give you money. Som sometimes it gives you like shards and things, but this time it's giving me money, which I approve. Oh yeah, see that time it gave me coal. Yeah, we need, and that time you gave me a shard. We got some mushrooms. Oh no, that wasn't mushrooms, that's fabric. Fabric. Ooh, it gave me seeds. Okay. Clear that. I'm just trying to clear... Ooh, what are those seeds it gave me? Now, remember, we're doing a quest here. So, let's check it out. And see... See, we need one more. And then we'll have enough for a pumpkin. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Event. Yeah. Okay, so we need to cook meals, talk to Merlin. We'll do all this. But right now, we need to go investigate the skull, it says. Which is over here. Ooh, a page. I'm just picking up all kinds of stuff which is gonna release a memory. So the whole point of this game is that there's something called the forgetting, which happened to all the characters. They all lived here. Loneliness is sharp. It cuts me like glass in my fingers, but it's more, it's much more awful than broken glass because I cannot see it or avoid it. Oh, that's sad. Um, but yeah, so everyone lived in this place and then some dark magic happened and the ruler who was here, who I don't know who it is at this point, well, they've given me some hints, but I don't want to spoil it, like I said. Um, made everyone forget. So they all disappeared and got locked in different worlds. And I have to get them and bring them back. That's basically the whole premise of the game is that people have forgotten each other. So sometimes you collect pieces of paper that are memories and it helps you. Ooh, is that like a, what is that table? It helps people remember each other. Ooh. Can I get in here? 
If I use my pickaxe, can I get in here? No? Okay, fine. But I think if we're going to see Scar, we need our pickaxe. So let's go. <gasps> okay. So in real life, I would not suggest talking to a lion. Period. Any lion. Even a cartoony one. Is he mad? Is he going to eat us? Can I have this page too? Greetings. Well, well, if it isn't Bree, it's been far too long since you've come around to visit. See, that's what I'm saying. He acts like he knows me, but I don't know him. Oh, I was beginning to think you'd leave me trapped in here forever. Oh my gosh. How do we know him? Scar, do we know each other? You're so cute. Can I scratch behind your ear? Absolutely not. I do not suggest doing that. Um, how about we say, I'm going to say Scar. Ah, so you do remember me. I mean, I remember you from the movie. I don't remember you from, like, life. Anyway. Before the forgetting, you were one of my most loyal assistants. <laughs> when I ruled over this entire valley. Huh? Really? Absolutely. Why, I may have let you watch over the rest of the valley. But when it comes to the Sunlight Plateau... Everyone knows that I'm the rightful king, except for Mufasa and like AKA Simba too. Of course, there's little worth ruling over us here since the river dried up. What happened to the river? I can only presume that something's blocking it and the land has grown so parched that there's no prey. Without water, there's no life. The power within the pillar of nurturing has died out. And now there's all sort of pesky dark power in the air. If someone doesn't fix this soon, the whole plateau will become an arid wasteland. And the most tragic part is, it's all your fault. My fault? What? Yes. Oh my god, the roar, the like, the snide. Creepy. Yes, this all began when you abandoned the valley. <laughs> Though perhaps with my guidance, you could set it all right. Okay, we'll do this one. Why did the pillar dry out? Because it's connected to the river that runs through the plateau. Without water, the pillar has utterly broken. And it seems to be connected to all the life on the plateau. When one flourishes, so does the other. But when one is broken, huh. So they're connected to each other. Feeding off each other in a balance. Almost like some sort of circle of life. Eh? Eh? Ugh, yes. Well, don't ever say that phrase in my presence again. <laughs> all the annoyance started when something blocked the river. I've no idea what that could be, but I do know that it began at the same time as the forgetting. And not long after, those blasted rocks fell in my lair. I've been trapped here ever since. Now, wasn't that also when you abandoned the, vi the village? None of this is my fault. Oh, Bree, everyone knows it is. <laughs> but if you fix all this, it, may it might make up for the trouble you've caused. Tell me what I need to do. Must I do everything myself? Find out what's blocking the river. The water flows from the depths of the... Biddles? Mines? Beneath the cliffs on the sunlight plateau. There are mines beneath cliffs. What do they mine in there? Uh -huh. I haven't the faintest idea, as it was nothing of value to me. Search the mines until you find what's blocking the flow of the river. And then, don't forget this part. <laughs> Fix it. Only then will you restore life to my kingdom and earn your way back into my good graces. Okay, so. You did it. Huzzah. Huzzah. We gotta go to the mine. But first, I'm picking this up. Look at him laying down. Looks like my cat. Well, my cat's not evil. What does this say? Note to self, there are extremely, there is an extremely bitter lion inside this cave. <laughs> Let's get a picture of that too, because it's funny. Okay. Now we know what we need to do. Let's go do it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I said, ooh, I've never done this before. I never opened this, obviously. So, ooh, wow. That is freaking cool. Okay, um, where do I go? Oh, I can get lost in here. Ooh, can I get this chest over here? How do I get over there? Uh, did I go this way? I'm about to get lost. Holy crap. Can I break this? Oh, I can break this. What in the... I've never seen this before. I, I have mine things. Oh, gold. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh-oh. Okay, so what I do when my inventory's full is I eat things. <laughs> I don't know if that's what everyone else does, but that's what I do. Cool. I guess I could go in here, but I don't need to. 
can't go down here. Let me go back this way. Because I think I was supposed to have gone straight. I just have a feeling. Or not, maybe not, because I don't think I can get across there. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, wow. My inventory's full again. Okay, time to eat more things. See, this is... I could expand it. Do I have enough money? No, I spent my money on uh, Goofy's stall, so I don't have enough money. Okay, I can't go this way, but it's cool. Find whatever's blocking the river. I'm assuming it's that that's blocking the river. How do I get up there? I can't jump across. There's no jumping. I probably have to go around, is my guess. So I'm gonna I am gonna have to go this way. Break up all this stuff. Ooh. I feel like maybe I'm getting closer. Something. Okay, that's a dead end, so don't go that way. I'm getting lots of stuff. This is good. Okay. Guess go this way. I'll know where I've been, because every time I'm going to hit these rocks. So I'll know that I was already here. Okay, boom. Get clear this. Clear this. Yeah. Okay. Go this way. Go this way. I might be getting closer somewhere. I don't know what that is over there. Can I go in there? Nope. But it's cool. Okay, I think this is the right place. I gotta go up here. Yeah, okay, so this is what's blocking. Check the sign next to the barrel. This is what's blocking the river. If the water is blocked, please read. These night thorns are getting worse and worse, but don't worry, I know how to stop them. I spilled some of my root beer on them and they all shriveled up a little. If we could make a whole lot more root beer and use some of these candles to get it all fizzy, oh, candies to get it all fizzy, why, I bet we could get rid of all these night thorn roots. I left all the ingredients in the chest at camp. I just hope I put it all together in this barrel before the forgetting gets to me too. Okay, but where is the mining camp? Uh, search the mining camp. Where is is it over here? Pick that up. I don't know what that is. Pick that up. Pick that up. My inventory's full again. What is this crackling candy? Root beer recipe. Use that. Yeah. Now we know how to make root beer. That sounds yeah. I don't actually like root beer in real life, but for some reason it sounds really yum to me. Talk, tell Merlin about what you found. I gotta talk to Merlin now? He's far from here. Hold on. And go talk to Merlin. Agree. I suspect you're dealing with another matter that might decide the fate of the whole village. But I suppose it's all in day's work for you. I found a certain surly lion in the giant skull in the elephant graveyard. A lion? You couldn't possibly mean Scar? That's right. He asked me for help to restore the Sunlight Plateau. Be very wary. Look how he's shaking his stick at me. <laughs> Scar is just as treacherous as Ursula. He's not working with you out of kindness. There's always something in it for him. He seems nice enough. He didn't. Duly noted. I'll watch my back. That's probably the answer I'm picking. He thinks he's king around here and I'm just one of his hyenas. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say duly noted. Good. The number of villains in the village is growing. We must take heed. It's true. We have Mother Gothel, Ursula, Scar. I think that's it. It's three. Of all the villains in the valley, I have a special aversion to Scar. He refuses to learn my name and insists on referring me to me as the windbag with the pointy blue head feather and the unkempt white mane. <laughs> so they got beef, okay? That's kind of funny, though. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Funny? 
Now see here, there's nothing humorous about it. Why ought to turn him into a house cat? Oh my god, please do that. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sore spot. Yes, yes, well, I've gotten myself so worked up, I forgot the matter at hand. What did Scar tell you? He told me that if I wanted to restore life to the pillar of nurturing, I'd need to fix whatever was blocking the river in the Vitalis Mines. <gasps> the Vitalis Mines? Good gracious, I'd forgotten all about those. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, so... I went inside and explored them. They're... oddly beautiful. <gasps> That they are. Hmm. I wish I could remember what was mined in there. The river's being blocked by the roots of some giant night thorns that grew down from the cliffs above. My magic doesn't seem to work on them. I actually didn't try it, but whatever. I see, I see. Perhaps some more mundane substance could kill the night thorns at their root. I found a note someone left tacked up in the mine. A bunch of ingredients lying around. Some crackling candies. So rock candies. And a recipe for extra fizzy root beer. Brilliant. <laughs> This means your job is already half complete. Before you arrived, there was only one way we could keep the night thorns at bay. Sugary carbonated beverages. Huh? Really? Like, root beer? Precisely. The fizzier, the better. But I... Of course, they're only gotten on the small... Of course, they've only worked on the smallest, least virulent night thorns. But if you use that recipe to whip up some especially fizzy root beer and combine it with the crackling candy, why that just might be enough to stop this problem at its root. Thank you. That's some joke he just told. I see something sparkling behind him, which is why I took my... Okay, we gotta go to a cooking station. So let's... Oh, there's Mother Gothel. She's rude. AF. Oh, we're gonna ignore her for now. She is actually rude. She's always telling me I look tired or I look busted or something. And I'm like, man. But then she has the nerve to say, just kidding. So I'm going to show you the inside of my house now, which, like I said, is very deceiving. This is my living room. Very regal, right? It's fire. Look at it. I got a whole... It doesn't match, but it kind of does. This is my bedroom. You right? Look at my bed. And these are the walls. I have a grand piano in my room. I got my gaming set up over here. Cute. Fireplace. Let's go back out. Now we need to go to the kitchen, which I'm working on still. I don't have that much in my kitchen. It doesn't really match, but I'm working on it. This is my kitchen. Yeah, okay. So we need to make the extra fizzy thing that it says. Uh, oops. Yeah, use that. Now, how do you make it? Busy thing? Root bear. We need... Do I have this? Oh, I don't have... I have this. I don't have... I don't think I have sugar cane. I... Well, I had some, but I don't think I have it right now. Okay. So we need sugar cane. I got it. I got it. All right. We're going to put the carrots, the wheat... Cocoa beans, the cotton, I guess. So these and these. We are going to sell them to Goofy, but for right now, I'm just trying to clear out my inventory. So we're going to put all that in there. I'm going to go inside, get the stuff I need to make a chest. And when you go inside, it automatically refills your energy bar, which is super helpful. I don't know where I just pointed. If I'm in the... I think I'm over the energy bar. I don't know where I'm going to put my face in this video. <laughs> okay, let's get... I think we need iron ore. Yes. And we need wood, I think. To make the um, chest, I think. I don't remember. We'll see when we go outside. To my crafting table. Which is over here. Okay, we need... Ooh, I can make gold now. I'm not... Oh, should I? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make iron. But first, yeah, I need to make a chest. Oh, I just needed stone and wood for that. Well, that's fine. I thought I needed iron for some reason. But yeah, now we have another chest. Very helpful. Now, it hasn't been seven minutes, I don't think. Ooh, should we go see what S Scrooge has to sell? This is his store that I helped him open back up. He's very greedy, but he does help me sometimes. Oh, Goofy's here. 
I think my nephew Donald hasn't gotten himself into trouble. Donald is a wreck. Okay, so these are the things you can buy and it changes every day. So this is why I said it's kind of like Animal Crossing. So there's this denim jacket, this shirt. I don't know what's on that shirt. Oh, I need this backpack. Do I have enough money? <gasps> I don't have enough oh, money. Greetings, neighbor. But I need it. I need this backpack. Oh, I will be getting you the oh. money, sir. I will sell all the things I own for this. Okay. Yeah, goodbye now. Um, then I can buy... Oh, I need this counter, too. How much is it? I need it. I'm doing white counters in my kitchen. Yeah, I need this. And yesterday, they had a different counter. But 17000 for that? Oof. Oh, I like the stool. Oh, and the top of Cinderella's dress before they ripped it. Okay, let's talk to Goofy real quick. Okay, great to see you, pal. Forgotten combination. Oh, I forgot. I was doing a different quest before I started this car one. <laughs> hey there, Bree. What can I do for you? I need to know what's oh, what are what's your favorite day of the year? My favorite day of the year, huh? Let me think. Oh, I know. It's May 25th. Can't rightly recall why though. Hmm. Okay, so the other quest I was doing was this one. Basically, Scrooge McDuck forgot the combination to a safe and to figure out the combination you have to talk to goofy about his favorite day which is may 25th so that's 525 um i have to count how many ponds are in the meadow two three i think and how many telescopes does one wizard need to study the stars is my other thing i have to do okay so we'll do that later right now we're going outside has it been seven minutes who knows has not because i can see already that nothing has grown oh actually it did grow <gasps> okay how many sugar cane do i need give me this thank you okay how many do i actually need though prepare extra root beer at the cooking station how many ponds this is the meadow by the way there's one pond two ponds and then one over there. It is three. Oh, I need to talk to him about telescope, I think. Because how many telescopes does he need? I'm, I'm stuck here. Okay. How many does he need? I think he only has one inside. Does he have more than one? Oh, he has one here. I think he just has one. Yeah, I think so. So at least I can do that quest. Or I can finish it. So it's 5, 25, 3, and 1. So I think I have to go back and talk to Scrooge. I know we're doing the Scar one, but I'm just trying to... Yeah, we need to go talk to Scrooge McDuck. Oh, there's Donald. I need to talk to you. He was about to have a temper tantrum. I could see him. No, I don't want to talk to you. No offense. I was, I, I'm trying to talk to Scrooge. Knock me over with a feather. That was Donald having a fit. Knock me over with a feather. You found the numbers? Hurry, let's put them together. The first clue is to ask Goofy about his favorite day. Did you? I did. And the answer was May 25th. Sparkling spats. That's it. And in Scotland, that would be 25 Bye. Now for the next clue. Take a bit of fresh air in the meadow and count the ponds. So how many ponds did you count? Three. That's right, three. Oh my God, Donald, shut the hell up. I hope the fresh air did you some good. And finally, how many telescopes does one wizard need to study the stars? Just one. Eureka, 25, five, three, one. That's my combination. So genius, nobody could guess, even me. Forget those numbers straight away. I've got property to protect, but I do want to thank you. Now that I have access to my fortune, here's a wee gift. 500? That'll help me. Let's visit again soon. Okay, Donald, shut up. You made it. I made what? Can I give you something to shut up? Oh, no, I can't. I need that stuff. Bye. Gotta go. Oh, there's Remy. Hi, Remy. Okay, we gotta go. Because Donald's annoying. He really is. He makes that noise constantly. It's so annoying. Okay, now we need... Oh, we need to go to our house and cook the uh, fizzy stuff. 
And hopefully we have enough sugar cane and all that stuff now to do it. We'll get our energy refill. Go in our kitchen. We gotta make the root beer. So... Here we go, root beer. We have ginger. We have... Sugar cane. Oop. Why does it say we don't have ginger? We have vanilla. Oop. Do we not? Yeah, we do. Extra fizzy root beer. Boom. Yeah, give me that. So now what? Put the extra fizzy root beer and the crackle candies in the barrel. Oh boy, I gotta run all the way back there. Hold on, please. Oh, I can't use a I can't I forgot I can't use a map when I'm inside somewhere. Now I gotta go all the way back through. Just to put this in the... Let me make sure before I do all that. Hold on. That I have, yeah, extra frizzy root beer and the crackling candy. Okay. Am I gonna have to, like, run out of here or something? I didn't go that way. I went this way, must have. Because this way is cleared off. Okay. And then I went this way. Let's see how my how good my memory is. Yes, I do remember this. It's not that much of a maze, but it kind of is. It sounds like stuff's moving in here. Okay, come on. There. Okay, interact. Put this and this. Uh-oh. Oh! It's working! Yes, we did it! Who thinks we river? That's so good. Oh, now I can cross that thing. Oh, that makes more sense. Yes, we did it. We did a thing. Okay, I need to go get my money. I don't know if that's what's in there, but let's go find out. Also, can I have the pickaxe? Thank you. Okay, cross. Ooh, open it. What do I get? It is money. Pretty good. Okay, get this. Yes. See, now we can hit all the rocks because our inventory is basically empty. But yeah, let's go see if the sunlight... <gasps> Ooh, the water's purple. That can't be good. Who the hell is that? Is that me? That's me. You look like me, but evil. Is that me? Follow the forgotten through the dark portal near the... Oh, y'all. Okay, you know what? I think this is a good place to end it. <laughs> we didn't finish, but we did do part of it. So if you want to see this again, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comments. Let me know if you want to see what happens if we follow the forgotten through the dark portal so yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed like i said let me know in the comments if you want me to film a part two to this and you want to see what happens when i go through the forgotten i am going to be playing this after this episode but i won't do this part i'll leave it so that if somebody wants to see it i will post it thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye pretzels